What is going on, Movie Meals? I got smiles and energy because we just saw Captain Marvel. As you can tell, we're in the same clothes if you saw that, but this is not a fun review, but we wanted to review it. <laughs> That's why we're starting with smiles. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, we're here to talk, you've seen the title, we're here to talk about the, the Leaving Neverland documentary we both finished. It's been a big deal on the internet lately. Um, and we just wanted to get a, a quick quick thoughts out. Obviously, this will be different from other reviews we've done. Uh, have we reviewed a documentary before? Uh, the Hard Knocks one, technically. I'm, oh yeah, we did do an episode of Hard Knocks. Check out that video. <laughs> if you want. I don't uh, know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, we just thought we'd get it because we, uh, you know, we're fan, we're uh, we're big movie fans. We're fans of the the space that movies are in. So we follow mm -hmm. a lot of the critics on YouTube and on on you know on v Variety and Hollywood Reporter and all these different places. The Silver Screen Insider people. Ho <laughs> ho. And uh, <laughs> thanks for that shout out. That's a joke just for him. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, so we, we, uh, heard just people, the internet rumbling about it the other day, literally two days ago. And you and I just immediately stopped what we were watching and just had to watch it yeah. because we're so interested. And so let's just give a quick idea. Uh, we're going to get into all spoilers. I'm assuming this video for our audience will have maybe five views, but let's do it. Thanks guys. So, <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, and share. And, uh, watch it more than five times. I think, uh, <laughs> we might lose subscribers to this video depending on which way we go. I don't know. Um, That's a good point. Anyway, so let's just get out quick. Like, how big of a Michael Jackson fan uh, were you growing up to, to before you watched the documentary? Nah, uh, I mean, I I heard his songs obviously, but I just grew up kind of after when he really got big. Uh, so I because we were we were like early teens when he passed away, right? Was it oh six? Yeah, yeah, probably around that. That time. would have been that we would have been uh, twelve. I was in Hawaii. We would have been actually. 12. Yeah. I was in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, in a, wow, in a I resort. Was, my life was. See, he passed, <laughs> he passed away the same day Billy Mays passed away. Yeah, that's right. I, I remember that was a crazy. That. Year. I remember what that time. I remember everybody stopped in the hotel, and I was like, the, the Billy Mays guy died. He had to buy commercials. I didn't know Michael Jackson <laughs> at all. Like, I mean, I yeah. did, but I didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, especially with my family, like, we didn't grow up with his music in particular. So that was also part of the reason why I didn't grow up with him, unlike some other kids who probably did uh, in our age range anyway. But even still, like, from the time we were growing up, like, his popularity was already booming, and we just knew of him Yeah, he, we all knew he was a big pop star. We did, we, did uh, I, I, we were talking about this the other night, where we did... Like he was a joke for our age group. I mean, we're uh, you're you're soon to be twenty four, and I'm oh, I'm yeah. twenty four years old. So yeah, we yeah. uh, so I remember growing up because we guys we've you've if you're if you're new to movie meals we've been we've been friends for a long time. We've been friends for six nine, months, nineteen years or something. Oh, like that. Like, we've met for a long time, and and we grew up for a long time together before I <laughs> moved away, and and then came back. Thanks, and uh, <laughs> you're welcome, and. Uh, so I remember growing up, like the allegations and stuff, you kind of hear just as a joke. Like I kind of, I knew about it, but like I didn't fully know. And as an adult, I never really looked into it uh, until, really until around watching the documentary. I've, I've read some more stuff and like looked things up and I've looked at a lot of tweets and both sides. I've talked to people about it in the, the day we've had to process it. Um, but let's, uh, so we weren't, I was with you, you know, it was, you know, Thriller came on at a school dance. That was kind of the most I knew about it. Had to do the dance. You know, yeah, yeah that yeah. was, you know, I'd seen the videos. I've heard a lot of the big music, but it wasn't like, like I didn't grow up. Like, you know, some parents pass down music to their kids. It's like, you got to listen to this. You got to, yeah. that's their thing. For me, that was movies. That was storytelling. So yeah. I never music, you know, I, I had to learn on my own through friends and other means. And that's why I listened to still, you know, all American rejects just over and over and over again. <laughs> and, uh. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the doc. Uh, so Kyle, just, just some thoughts on the doc and what you, uh, the, the, the darkness that it is. Uh, what did definitely, you, what did you think? definitely dark Watching subject it. matter for sure. Um, some stuff. Very dark. It gets very detailed. Yeah, exactly. And I, and I did appreciate that despite it being so dark and depressing, of course, but it is very nice that they were able to have such detailed, um, I guess facts would be a strong word, just, uh, but just strong details as to um, the victims of Michael Jackson, the supposed victims of Michael Jackson coming out and just explaining their stories. And it was just interesting seeing how from an early childhood um, all the way to being a grown adult that uh, just being able to be that close to Michael Jackson for how close they were. Like they, he was yeah, pretty much like their best friend, decade. almost like a family member to them. Like they're even their family members of the victims were saying, I mean, I would say uh, the how documentary close that they, how close Michael was to these families and just seeing yeah. that impact of this superstar acting like family to you 
and having that much trust in them just having such an impact. It turned out to be a negative impact because of the reasons that I mean, they the describe him as a family member. Like, it's, yeah, like yeah, so every, some of the people say, the like, he, like, he was like a brother, like, the moms were like, he's like a brother to me. Yeah, so, and when, it, you know, so when the initial, um, reports about michael jackson coming out and that's why they were denying that these things were happening to them was because like they were such they were so close to jackson that they didn't want to disappoint him they were afraid of him for uh because he was going to be helping out the families uh and helping start their careers and uh yeah. it was just very interesting just going through not only the psyche but just the impact that jackson had on not only these kids at a young age and going through adulthood but also just uh through the, the family members themselves and it's it's yeah. unfortunate for what happens to a lot of these family members too it's really depressing stuff and you just don't want to hear it but it's it's not it's not fun but yeah yeah it's, and and let me say this if you're six minutes in one of the five viewers who would watch the whole thing if you are if you are know anybody who's dealt with with sexual abuse child abuse things anything anything along that nature please talk to somebody please yeah. trust me i have i have friends who who are here today because they talk to me and 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 I I might be here because I've talked to people. You know, that's mm. it's important to do that. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Should have said always at the beginning a, of the video. Always a way to help them. Yeah, but, yeah that you please that talk. That's Trust good, me, you're never point. you're never a burden. That's yeah. just the truth. Uh and yeah, yeah, it's a dark documentary. Uh I, I went down the Twitter rabbit hole because I, you know, it's it was up <laughs> late one night. Oh boy. I, I was really I finished it last night and I really Really was having a hard time sleeping because it is very graphic. Uh, some of these stuff I've I've I know people uh, who have been victims of of, of of that sexual abuse and things like that. And uh, as you grow, you know, like I'm not a huge fan of Michael Jackson. I, you know, it's not it's not that I didn't hate him. It's not that I didn't love him. Uh, and we're not saying in this review uh, or our thoughts on it that you. Uh, you know, you should still, you should not listen to his music. You should, you, sh you should love him. You should hate him. We're not saying that. No, that's you're, up to you guys. You're all adults. Yeah. Hopefully, if you're not, wait till you're an adult and wait till you get older and make up your own mind and just be respectful about it. That's all that matters is yeah. being respectful, not yelling, not being a troll. Uh, and it, it is, it's really dark. And, uh, you know, we got into a conversation about, because uh, you summed up the doc very well. It really got, it, it gets graphic. Uh, a a Personal. lot of personal personal very personal yeah. um and it it, it these are such tricky situations a lot of you know it really is he said she said it's you know that one of the guys was a big key witness for getting michael uh was it, acquitted out of the first allegation yeah yeah and 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 you know a lot of people online are like well why would he why would he come back and you know say it now and and the and, documentary explains why very well. Well, yeah, he he does. He says his side, and, and yeah. they say their side. You know, it's mm -hmm. that's a tough thing. If you haven't been through it, it's it's hard to say how things should be if you haven't been through it. You know, mm -hmm. I was saying to to you last night, uh, like we assume. You know, the, 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 there's this other thing. How do these parents let this happen? How how do these parents let this happen? Yeah, and there's, I mean, throughout the real quick, I'm so sorry. No, real quick, throughout please. the documentary, for me, what I was noticing was that the parents were saying, "Of course, you can." Stay over at Michael's place, of course. Well, it did take some time. It, I do want to say did, that because yes, there's there's a lot of the parents yes. saying, you know, like, no, you're not keep, like you're not yeah. keeping my kid for a year. You're not mm -hmm. you're not having my kid. I need to be here, and it was a process. It that was, took a and, while. I'm glad, and I'm glad that it did take that while, and I'm glad that they at least answered that. But I remember just going through that was my biggest thing that I was seeing in this uh, documentary it was like, all right, I understand like seeing your child being able to work with like the biggest star in the world, like getting a. a possibly helping out with his career in the future and all that. I totally understand why they thought about that. But then there were all these signs that, to me anyway, I was just like, wow. I mean, at his house, like, there's all this stuff that's, like, targeted towards, like, attracting kids. And, you know, he's asking the parents that to have him sleep in his bed with him. They said, like, it was just stuff that, for me personally, I was just like, why? how could they let this happen? But they do explain uh, from their side about, like, how... Um, they were able to come to terms with that, that stuff kind of being happening, especially, like I said earlier, like Jackson was so close to these uh, family members that they, they felt I mean, like they he was family himself. He was calling himself. every day. Yeah, like he exactly. was talking so, for, he would call one day and talk for six, seven if you hours. Have, if you have questions, I feel like the majority of them will be answered. Cause for me, that was my biggest question. And I did get that answer and, for myself. And you know, there's this whole thing, you know, you don't, you know, when somebody says something mean on the internet, it's like, oh, you don't know what's going on in their life. And it's also like, well, how can we assume something or not when we don't like, 
yes, he's coming out. And there's also a lot of talk how one of the 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 men who who have come forward in the documentary that they are also like broke right now and they are strapped for cash, and that's part of the reason they've chosen to do the oh, documentary. Oh yeah, when the first when the is, first um, yeah allegations is, came up. Yeah. No, isn't it now? I think it's now too. Is it now? Oh, I think okay. one of them's having some issues now too. I remember. But I, I, that's just what well, I've heard okay. from people, and a lot of people are saying, you know, why they choose to do it now, why this, why that, and and we like a lot. You can say, I, you, no way, you're touching my kid. It's 2019. You are not a parent in the 90s. You were not a parent when the most famous person at the time in the entire world has come up to you. I hope the whole everybody would say no you're not doing that yeah. but it's hard to know what you would really do because all we can do is assume how we would act right now mm -hmm. and and that's tough and it, it this is a, it's a tough situation it makes you think, and that's why you should think, watch the doc for sure. please yeah. watch it i mean mm -hmm. immediately when you know I, I if i'm being completely honest like uh like i can't watch i i was this is a little bit of a tangent but i i couldn't i can't watch kevin spacey movies anymore I loved yeah. Kevin Spacey. I I didn't understand why he wasn't hosting the Oscars. I never understood why he wasn't getting more and more of these type of roles. I loved House of Cards. I loved I loved him. I thought he was one of the best actors. I was arguing he might be one of the best actors of all time. I cannot watch his his stuff anymore. So I get how for some people being such big fans of Michael now, it's hard to either choose to, you know, that they're either completely hating him now and refuse to listen to his music ever again, or they're defending him. And all I'm saying is don't bury your head in the sand. You need to watch the doc at least. You mm -hmm. can't have an argument if you're not informed. You can't argue with yeah. somebody yeah. about the facts if you didn't watch it because these guys' stories who had never met, who told it to a camera, are so detailed and so intimate and so intense that it's it's hard to to not believe they even had some, that something did not happen. They had physical evidence too. I mean, at one point, um, one I forget one of the guys' names. I feel so bad about that. It was but, Wade and something else. I, I um, can't remember the other. It guy's might have been. Name. It might have been Wade, but one of them brought out a box of rings that Michael Jackson and him He's at a younger stuff. age yeah. were helping. Yeah, and he still kept the box of, of rings, and he was showing it to the camera. And, and then you can I, tell he had the to close, and he was like, "I can't look at the rings." You can tell ever. they still have some affection for him deep down and it's it's they a, admit that too it's a screwed up yeah. form of stockholm syndrome i mean again yeah. it is you know and again i'm not a big michael jackson fan i don't think i can listen to his music ever again i don't yeah. and you know we talked about it you know with with brian singer brian singer has had these allegations yeah, for me years. i can't watch i can't watch those x-men movies that i haven't made. watched him in a long time i mean obviously we just watched bohemian rhapsody which was a lot of him and uh, yeah. I made I made the you know Kyle and I like to get in debates where we take arguments that we don't always necessarily believe or whatnot. But you know I yeah. make the argument that that it's a little it's a little not easier, but it's different when you're watching a movie that somebody made behind the camera, but you're not hearing their voice or seeing their face. You know when Michael song yeah, comes on, the first thing I think of is this is Michael Jackson. Song. Fuck Michael Jackson. Uh, <laughs> like that's the first thing I think of. I think of the documentary. Yeah. I think of all that bad stuff, and I don't want to listen to it anymore because now I'm thinking of bad stuff. When I see Kevin Spacey in a movie, all I think about is the bad stuff, and I want that out of there. Mm. So, with it's a little bit different with Brian Singer, but at the same time, I'm with you. I don't really want to like. I did forget watching Bohemian Rhapsody was him, but I also haven't wanted to rewatch those X Men movies since it came out. You know, since since you well, know, since, this, stuff since the talks have really gotten yeah serious for sure. I mean, he's always been uh, accused and alleged in the past, especially during like the X Men movies as well. He was definitely alleged for all the stuff that was happening, but now it's definitely is coming to the light more for me. Where um, I can't turn away from it. Like it's just too yeah. It's and just too you much. and you and it's about listening to the stories, and that's why it's important I think to watch this doc because no matter what you think of the subject, it's a great documentary. It, mm -hmm. it, 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 documentaries are to inform you of somebody's specific point of view, that director's specific point of view and their agenda. And they are, they have a point of view. Oh, they have a point of view. They are, they are yeah, saying Michael yeah. did this. It's horrible, mm -hmm. but you can't, you gotta, you gotta walk in both shoes. So you gotta look at both sides. That's part of the reason I, I went down the Twitter rabbit hole. I wanted to see what people were saying about it. I wanted to see some of the articles and read back on it and kind of re-educate myself now as an adult. Yeah. And uh, the doc is a great doc. It's a good documentary. It, it is, well is selling yeah. its, its point yeah. of view very well. And it, it sold it to me as not a big fan. It's hard. You know, immediately after we watched it, I, you know, we're in big chats with a lot of our friends and I put stuff in there. I was saying, you know, I can't watch some stuff right now. Like yeah. I, I can't listen to the music. I can't, I can't do it. And immediately, you know, you, you get a little bit of pushback 
And it, it's like, well, let's all watch the documentary first. Mm -hmm. Let's all do that before. You know, it, it's fine if you in the comments, I'm still a huge fan of Michael Jackson. You want to defend him forever. It didn't happen for you. That's fine. You can be that person if you want. I, I'm i going to be honest. I'm on the side of, I think this I think this stuff really happened. It's disgusted me. And I really never want to listen to a, his song again. I'll talk about it. I'm an open guy. I'll, I'll talk about it. But I just... You know, if Thriller comes on, if one of those songs come on, I'm I'm turning it. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm getting out of there ASAP. I, I don't sure. want to hear it. This documentary is good. Yeah, I'm getting sad. You you <laughs> you say you say something. No, I mean it does. I will say this about the documentary: like it doesn't exactly go in the other direction of being like, well, how is it possible that Jackson could be innocent? And it, it doesn't do have to. It, it does, shouldn't have to. I mean, that's not the point of the documentary. The point is to talk to the uh, accused victims and they hear their story and hear their point of view from it. And I did like that. That's really what hooked me. Is it gave me a little bit more into the psyche of not only themselves and what was going on in their lives, but as it well as the psyche so of, of Jackson. It's and it's, it's interesting to go through the psyche of Jackson um, and, and just make you think, like, maybe he just wasn't i know he had an unhappy childhood from I the mean, way that he, had he was a horrible raised but i it, it must have really uh passed over into his adult life too and, and he, he, he had other problems on top of all this stuff and his childhood as well and i really appreciate that part as well so uh no it doesn't at least talk about the other side of this story but at least it goes into like the possibilities of this happening he really because was of the psyches boy. of everyone i mean he was like chemically castrated wasn't he they were they were getting rid of his testosterone so his voice could stay that high as his dad was i mean that would wasn't that, that would make I, a lot of sense yeah and 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 so he's if you know a lot of people are saying well he didn't have testosterone how can he he, he can't ejaculate how can he do that and you know that he he grew up it, I, I don't know i'm not a doctor i don't know it, 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 if I'm sure the body at some point starts producing it again or something happens, but he, I'm not familiar I, with that I, stuff. I, yeah, so I'm not know. a doctor, but you know, he had a horrible childhood, but that's not an excuse. You can be, you can be a better person just because you had a bad childhood. I've seen it. I've seen people come out of bad situations and be better people. I know those people who have done it, who have been through very dark stuff too. So it, it's possible. And so that can't be an excuse for him. Uh, and I, I believe that like, he can't be an excuse because he had a, a really horrible childhood that he should be, he should he should be able to do this like he when they when they talk about how he when when the parents and the grandparents and and the and these these men who this had happened to talk about how how he was a nine year old kid and it was like being with a kid and it, that's what it was like and then they show footage of him and the way he talks and the way it's stuff it just it's like sometimes it's hard not to look at all the breadcrumbs on the floor and 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 not follow that trail you know what I mean it's it's it, yeah. that's tough and. I just, I, we're in a time of getting rid of these type of people. I mean, obviously he's passed away a long time, but, but outing these people and trying to be better humans. And I'm loving it because I'm, t I'm tired of, of bad, stupid, idiotic people that, that, that should go to hell. If I'm being honest, <laughs> I, this stuff gets on me and I, and I just, yeah, yeah I, this doc, sure, and that's sure. why I think it's so important to watch it because it is. And if, if you get in and the graph, cause I would say the graphic stuff starts about 40 minutes in. It's a lot of setup. Yes. It's a four hour doc. Uh, and it doesn't feel like four hours and, um, about 40, the 40 minute mark. I remember we it was like, all right, we're, we're, we're buckling up now down that rabbit hole. And for sure. yeah, we're getting yeah. down it and it goes mm -hmm. down quick. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to watch it. If you get to that 40 minute mark and it's too graphic, it's too much for you by all means, stop. I'm not, t but if you are willing, if you can, and you want to be more informed, yeah. be more informed on both sides of these arguments and don't be mean on Twitter, be respectful. Uh, cause I saw a lot of stupid so nice stuff by stupid people. <laughs> Dude, we could lose. Like we have like what seven hundred something subscribers. I think subscribers. we went from five five views to three. So that's. I think I I think we <laughs> like what if we're gonna wake up tomorrow? We're gonna go from like seven hundred to like three hundred. We're gonna lose like four hundred. The four hundred people we have or whatever you know. Uh, but we do love our our. We do have we have a few hardcore fans out there who've commented on like every video we do. And I gotta yeah, say, guys, cool. we love responding to you in the comments, and we love talking to you and we love that you actually stick with us it's pretty pretty cool yeah uh, it makes crazy. us feel a little special you know uh and anyway we, need it. we do <laughs> <laughs> especially after watching that dog oh. uh anyway That's yeah guys please little... go watch it do you have any final thoughts kyle we went on a little longer than i thought we would but uh i like that we got to be able to talk about this it's, it's nice really talking is, about real stuff it really yeah. is an interesting documentary i hope people still keep thinking about this one throughout the year i certainly will um, yeah, if, if you're curious about it, just, and you want to be informed, go for it. But if you have your reasons for not wanting to totally understand, it's your own personal, um, just don't go with the bias. It's own, it's 
yeah, I mean, go in with no bias and come out with 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 a real opinion. You know, that's all I think you should do. Yeah, that's well said. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Comment if you'd like. I don't know how to end this one. Uh, yeah. Comment. I guess. Yeah. All right. Hey. <laughs> thanks. Uh, I don't think my mom would watch this documentary. I think it might be a little too graphic. Who knows? Yeah. Probably. But hey, love you, mom. <laughs> See you guys.